Order another one. Order another one. Order another one? Yeah, order another one. No, can, I'm, we're going to three other places. We have to show the viewers three other places. Ah. Order another one, Martino. I take this one with me. <laughs> okay, just come on, yes. bro. Nah. Yo, this is not for the. This is not for the. Oh, uh, bro, who knows? Hey, everybody, what's going on? We want to make this video for anyone that's interested in coming to Miami and may want to know where you can get a good beer. In this video, Martino and I are going to go and show you five of our favorite places to grab a good brew in Miami. We really hope that you guys enjoy this video. I'm really excited to film this because we're just showing you places that we genuinely go to and like. Beer has not been something that I've been like overly crazy about throughout my whole life or even with Sharina, but it's something that we kind of started liking a little bit. And being here in Miami, these are our favorite places to go get beer. So come along with us on the video. We're here at Lincoln Beer Brewery. This place is located in Westchester, Miami. It is an awesome spot, especially if you're coming here with a group of friends. They're seating indoors and outdoors. Spacious patio, use the space so well, this location. They have farmer's markets here. They have taco stand, a great deal to come on Tuesdays for Taco Tuesday. And they also have a lot of sporting and uh, music events here. It's a really awesome brewery, great um, rotating tap. Uh, we enjoy coming here a lot. It's very affordable and a fun location. How's yours? I have a sour. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, I mean, this is an amazing blood ale. So this place is actually a brewery, so they make their own beers. And I asked one of the brewers here what their best sellers are. Two were this blonde ale right here, and then a Peace Wazy, which is like American IPA. Typically, I'm a fan of like sour beers, which is what Sabrina got. But this is a, a blonde ale. Do you remember the name? Uh, yeah, it's Morning Glory. Morning Glory. And uh, it's really tasty. I mean, just excellent beer and, and really, really good. Warm. Party. <laughs> you got a hair on your chest. <laughs> But I went for a sour this time, so they have a lot of rotating tap. And this one is called It Has the Juice. It has some flavor profiles with pineapple, orange, and vanilla. And it's actually really good. There's always more beyond the beard. That was good. Bay 13, man, I love this place. And I love this place because I like soccer a lot and this place always has sports events available. That's actually how we found out about Bay 13. When it's packed inside, they put down a huge screen right in front and clear out all the space so you can come down here and watch the games. In fact, me, Shabina, and Kendrick watched the World Cup final here yeah. uh, when uh, Messi won the World Cup with Argentina. Uh, vamos. <laughs> vamos. This place is uh, actually Aussie owned. So the owner is from Australia and they have a amazing food and amazing beer and they actually right now are having one of their summer specials which is they have a different sour for each week of the summer right yeah. and last week we came here and it was just amazing amazing beer so we had to come back we had to come back and we're really really excited to show you guys this place just made it let me, let me go. we're super pumped to be here right now so we made it just in time for happy hour bay 13 hosts happy hour from 4 to 6 p.m every day and we found out that their flights are even included in the happy hour so you get 50 percent off beers and also they have a house margarita for five dollars and you get two dollars off of cocktails and if you want to get like top shelf items you get 25 percent off and this is an awesome deal so we got a flight so we can sample different kind of taps and from we are going light to dark so we have the merv the g the old man and the arvo very good how you doing Hello. Good. really good Tasty. Very smooth and light. And now you have the G. I think you have this one before. The OG, I think so. Oh, you got the hard stuff, huh? Yeah. That one's good too. This one's a, this one's definitely the lightest. This one has a little more. We're going up the scale now. Yeah. So now this one's the old man. And we found out that this was actually the first original recipe. That definitely is very interesting. It has like a, you can tell that somebody like made something with that. Like that Okay. Like uniquely made. It has a twang to it. I don't know. Oh yeah, you're right. It has like, has something in it. Hmm. Okay, and now this is our darkest one, and this is the Arvo. And it's Australian pale ale, so this is the Aussie influence again. I definitely like that one a lot. Okay. For, for, for being dark, that was good. Oh yeah, that's really smooth too. Really? Like you would think that it would be very hoppy, but it's very smooth. All right, let's try this, man. This is the myrrh. Not bad, it's cool. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Pinky's up. Pinky's up, fool. All right, it's, it's got a little twang to it. I, I feel what you're saying. I feel what you're saying. And this one, that Aro, 
Mm, it's not bad. No, I feel like the first one's my favorite. The first one's the light, lightest, you feel me, so. Yo, third spot, we're here at Tobacco Road by Kush here in Brickell. This place is really special. Kush restaurants as a whole are super amazing and we love them. Yeah. But this bar, and not necessarily a brewery, but more of a bar, is really special because it's one of the oldest bars here in the city. It's super unique and we love coming back here whenever we can and enjoying the ambiance. Yeah, we love Kush hospitality. Yeah. Hey, hey Tobacco Road, what'd you get? Frita Burger. I'm telling you, it's the most things pops inside of your mouth. Oh my god. What do you do you, do you like do you like the beer here? Do you like the beer here? Beer? Yeah. What? Let's go have one. Do you like it though here? Is the beer good? Let's go right now. Uh, so we're about to go in there right now. Alright, yeah, I love it. Sorry. <laughs> That's awesome. Where are you from? I'm from that building right there. Let's go, bro. Oh, it's dangerous. You live so close to here. Yeah, I know. It just guts like burgers. And you're you're roller skating. Yeah, I was on a mission. I was like, push, I'm gonna order a burger and have a beer. Fire. <laughs> Alright, brother, we'll see you, man. Have a good one. Yeah, but we love Kush Hospitality. They have amazing beers, incredible food. Our friend here mentioned the Frida Burger and it's one of a kind. Like just think of a juicy burger, then guava jelly and then the potato sticks, like truly out of this world. So this place in particular, Tobacco Road is open late night. So if you're in a Brickle area, you just went clubbing, maybe you're at space, this is a place to hit up at night and get a great beer. We're, we're gonna get more than this, but samples. It's delicious. It's such a great beer. Refreshing. That tastes really good. That's excellent, Stephanie. Appreciate it. That was good. That was really good. You like that? Yeah. Wow. It's good beer. I feel like I'm in Belgium right now. Yeah, it's All I need are some French fries. All right, so Kush is super special. It's a special restaurant for Sabrina and I because we've been going to these restaurants for a while. Kush has many locations all around Miami. But we want to show you guys Tobacco Road, this special bar here of Kush, because it's special to Miami. I've been using special because it is. If you look at the menu, I don't have it here with me, but it, it used to be one of the oldest bars in the city. So it has a lot of history. And when you come here, you really feel the culture of Miami. This is one of our favorite places because they have a lot of sours. They have a good variety of beer and the staff is always super friendly and really just a pleasure to be around. So we've never had a bad moment at Kush. This is a place you definitely gotta check out. Thank you very much, appreciate it. They say a lot of things. I'll take a sip so you can try it. Yeah, no, go for it. Oh, wow. It's really bubblegum. Oh, oh no, yeah, this is good. Go for it. No, I want you to try it. That's really good. Yeah. God. Kenzie, you gotta try this, bro. Oh, God. Welcome. Wait, 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 wait. Let me. <laughs> In this part of the clip, the audio turned out kind of bad. So, we're doing a quick voiceover to tell you a little bit about Vezasaur which was our fourth favorite beer place here in Miami. I like Vezasaur because of the selection and the uniqueness of the vibe. It's in Wynwood, you're right in the city, you feel good, it's a great place to hang out, do work, and their Mangolandia beer is delicious amongst all their other selections. I really like Vezasaur, it's a place I go to all the time when I'm in Wynwood. Yeah, I enjoy Vesta Store. It has a really great beer selection. They have a lot of events and live music. It's a really great place to hang out. So we had five breweries planned for you, but we're only gonna be able to make four today. The fifth one was the Winwood Brewery, which is the home of La Rubia, which is actually where we actually had our first like kind of beer together. Where like everything kind of sparked for the beer scene. Cause honestly, yeah. we were not beer drinkers before this. It honestly exposed to us like the craft beer scene that Miami has. And we realized that breweries are a great place to meet people. Everyone's open to conversation. Yep. Everyone's just like relaxed, wanting to meet like 
like other people. I mean, even today we had, we met some other people that were yeah. friends. Like. And it, it's a great environment to meet people, get to know like local restaurant scenes. Honestly, we love breweries. And if you're coming to visit Miami, we definitely recommend that you check them out. And these are our favorite places. So we would love to get your feedback if you ever visit these. Yeah, we started at Bird Road, ended in Wynwood. We're showing you all around Miami. I hope you guys are appreciating this. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. And once again, there's, there's always, always more beyond the, beyond the beach. beach.